Hello, everyone. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the new free uh, podcast um, app. Uh, anyone can download it. It's on Android and iOS. There's um, a lot of creation tools that you get to use for free. It gives you your RSS code, and you can use it on your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, many more. Uh, you make money from your podcast with no minimum leadership. Everything you need in one place on one app. Don't forget to download yours today, now. Hello, podcast world. Welcome to my channel. It is one twenty twenty one. That's January twentieth, twenty twenty one, inauguration day at four forty three p.m. And I'm just here to say thank you for tuning in. I really, really, really just glad that everything is taking place and it's official. Joe Biden is officially our new 46th president. Now, it it took a lot for us to end up here at this point, but we're here now. And I'm glad we're here because after all of the rioting in 2020, uh, you just never know what's going to happen next. I mean... You've got those who were rioting and stealing and just taking over, taking over Capitol Hill. And they really weren't doing anything about it compared to when the whole Black Lives Matter riots were going on. And maybe I missed opportunity in there somewhere. I don't know. But that's not my MO. That's not my thing. Um... I am here for change. I'm glad that the Democrats are back in office, and I'm glad that um, they promised to pass one of the largest stimulus packages ever in the history of government spending. So, we're still in limbo, kind of, about the $1,400 to $2,000 and the $600 a week uh, unemployment. And... It seems like there's always money out there, and hopefully, hopefully they'll um, they'll put it out there for us. We'll be able to get more money, more money, more money, you know, more money, more money, yo. So with all of that being the case, um, I'm shocked that you know the Democrats usually go for more, I guess, a younger candidate, and here Joe Biden is pretty old, he's like 78. Just doesn't matter as long as he believes that to do as long as he promises to do right by the people. Here I am, one of the um, stimulus people who have not gotten stimulated yet. It's um, like, where is the check if it's supposed to come out on the six? I don't understand where it's at now. <laughs> if you send me a message an email and we're not saying that if I go on the IRS government site and it says oh yeah we're sending it out on the 6th here it is two weeks later I don't understand every time I go to the mailbox disappointment I'm there while the post officer post yeah post officer is there and he drives off and I just be like what's going on So, if y'all just think about that, think about all of the stuff that we could be doing and compare it to all the stuff that we have going on. I appreciate that. Like, check out the links down below, description down below, and click on the links, and you'll see everything that we've got going on for the near future. It seems like the more you know, the more you grow. You have to grow into what you want to become. Every time you turn around and you're listening to that soft thought that goes in the back of your head and is telling you, please, please help me. I need your help. You're thinking to yourself, why? Why should I help you if you're not going to help me? I am here to tell you that if you don't help yourself, then nothing is ever going to change for you. You have to climb your way to the top, like Jim and the rope that you had to climb in Jim. Now, some of you 
didn't get off the ground, but you had a desire to get to the top. And that's all that matters, because now there is no more rope. Now it's you have to think your way to the top. You have to levitate. You have to fly. And I'll say this, and I'll say this, and I'll keep saying it. You have to reach for the stars so that you may touch the moon. That is something that you have to consider. Like, you might be shooting for stars, and some people feel like... They didn't reach the stars. They only made it to the moon. And that is not failure. That is an achievement in itself. How many people can say that they touched the moon? Not a lot. Only a few. And that's still good enough. But at some point, you want to get beyond. You want to go above and beyond. You want to buzz light year this thing, you know? You want to know that something that you believe in and that you're trying to achieve is exactly what you're going to get out of life. You want to be the helping hand. You want to help people understand. You want to be right there on top, nonstop. You want to be, who wants to be a millionaire? You want to be a millionaire. You want to be a millionaire. You want to be able to give things in capacity that you never given them before. These are the thoughts that you will always have. Now, with the new president coming along and all the, it's everything being blue right now, blue house, blue senate, blue president, Democrats, 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 what are they going to do for us, you know? And I look back on a couple of times where we've had Democratic offices and President Roosevelt, a chicken in every pot. I feel like that is the best campaign slogan I've ever heard in my life. Like, there's nothing out there that could tell me and otherwise when it comes to someone saying that they're going to put a chicken in every pot during the time of a Great Depression and recession and things like a chicken. I mean, even today, <laughs> I would love to have a chicken in my pot right now. I would love to be able to feed a family. I would love to be able to take care of what needs to be taken care of so I can get to the next level. Now, hopefully we don't have any more interference with the Republican Party. We don't have any more interference when it comes to the Trump administration. Hopefully, we're going we're gonna to clean the slate. We're going to get in there, and we're going to do whatever it takes to get things back in order. We're trying to get our country back right. This pandemic, this coronavirus, everything else that's coming along, it's about, to, it's about time that we take charge. We have to do whatever we got to do. And I'm still amazed that, uh, again, I would not want to be one of the first people in front of this that's taking this shot <laughs> i mean i don't know what they gave the president but long live the president i hope but if not <laughs> if something does happen to joe biden in the process of his um, administration we have the first woman the first female vice president at any time ready to step up and run this country and she is fine. She is a beautiful woman. She is the epitome of, ooh, sass. Like, she's the things that you only talk about with your male friends. <laughs> she's hot. <laughs> she is spicy, you know. And she is for the people. She is for you and me. I mean, <laughs> some people say that, um, let us see, 2028, 2024, 2028, whatever. Maybe we'll get a Michelle Obama presidency. I would love to see that. I feel like at the end of the day, um, we speak of change, and that would be a great change to me. I feel like Michelle is the best thing since the Obama administration. Since I feel like even with Barack, Michelle was the it. <laughs> she was the glue. <laughs> she had things that she would do and talk about and push and um, for the culture, I'll say. It would be like, man, you, you, she gave motivation 
as a strong black woman to other women. It's like every time I hear her speak in, in a public setting, even maybe even in a public setting or whatever, but I mean, I just for sure, I, I her advice is solid. She is what that is. She is the one. She is someone who that women of all cultures, races, beliefs, whatever, can look up to. She is a strong black woman. And I love that. I love that. I honestly be looking for someone like Michelle. And that's hard to find. It's hard to find that these days. Because she's from a different generation. She's a generation ahead of me. So I am at the crest of that. So I still have some of the same similar beliefs and thoughts. And I, I, these millennials that are coming along, oh my gosh. It's like everything is being handed to them and change is coming. And some people older than myself, a whole other generation, is a generation above that. Uh, people that like okay the president he was born in the 40s I mean he grew up during like World War One. he grew up during the Holocaust time and he grew up at the, the kind of like the end of the um, of, of uh, the turnaround of the uh, Great Depression and Recession and all that so the, there's there's a there's an outlook that I have that history those who don't know it, you know, repeat the, you know, the whole history repeats itself. If you don't know history, then it's just doomed to repeat it. All that, yada, yada, yada. Now, if that were the case, some of the people now would not know what to do because we are history. I mean, just think about it. If here it is, a whole eight years at least later after the first black president in office that's history for them you know that is a whole nother level of history and it's almost like saying we can keep going back and back and back and they're not going to pay attention they're not going to see it the way that it's been seen when we talk about history and social studies and social science and and all of that that I honestly don't know, and then I don't even think math is the same as when I was in school. Like nothing is the same. This change that is taking place today, starting today, the things that are happening right this moment, January twentieth, twenty twenty one, the inauguration, this these these footprints that are that are being left in the sand, that are being left in our paths, that are left for our leader, our commander in chief, to us to follow that. It is, it is like no other, because Trump was a horrible president, and everyone knows it. And I don't understand how they can still stand on the slogan "Make America Great Again." No, <laughs> you've made America the worst it's ever been in like a good 50, 60 years. Like, come on! If America was great then, I don't know what to say. There are times where outside of the racism or whatever where well no even women would have to uh, disagree with being great of America if they talk about looking in the past no one was free then I mean only people that were free were middle aged white men <laughs> cause even even little white children who grew up with racist parents or whatever if you didn't believe in that same thing let's say that you don't believe in what's what's, uh, that 1950 idealism then you you disowned you know let's say that your child is a homosexual they're gonna disown you they're not gonna you not going along it's almost like back in the day when Nazis were trying to take over the earth I mean, Nazism is is like the same thing as the uh, Trump administration and making America great again. Because they have the same outlook. It's like, it's to me, the Trump administration is like when, if you, if you watched uh, any of the Marvel stuff, 
and I've been watching Agent of Shield, but I'm usually I'm go with the the Winter Soldier, uh, Captain America Winter Soldier. It's when they found out that Hydra had been infra, like Shield had been intra, infiltrated by Hydra and had been taking over and just slowly waiting and biding his time, you know. So when they came along and started talking about making America great again. Oh man, that's right up some of these Uncle Toms and uh, all of the other people out there that have no, that are lost their cotton picking mind, and that's just what it is. I'm sorry to say that, but you, 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 this is a new season. This is a change for the better. I, so far in my lifetime, the Democrats are the only ones to do it right. When Bill Clinton was in office. And it seems like they will come along and let the Democrats be in office. When the Democrats get in office, we usually serve two terms. We serve two terms. You know why? Because we know how to balance the books. We know how to set things right. We know how to take care of the people. And if you take care of the people, everything else will be good. Like big business. The people are the ones that are spending this money to buy your oil or your gas or your uh your supplies or your you know uh, whatever you know what i'm saying we're the ones who pushes your stock up you know so if you have a baseline and help the people i mean at the end of the day if you can make everyone rich then what would be the benefit of that a lot because <laughs> there will be a lot of money. Some people can't hold a penny in their pocket because they're so ready to spend it. Uh, I, um, again, Benjamin Franklin, a penny saved is a penny earned, you know? So, even with this whole stimulus check situation, you, that's it, you know? You win, you lose some, you win some, you lose some. So, just uh, keep that in mind. Could have been right, could have been wrong, but right now it seems like you're wrong. So, Let's uh, just take it from there and see what happens next. I appreciate y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Check out everything I got going on in my uh, content. And, and hey, you, you see what this is. You see what it is. So, yeah, like me like you likes no other. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello YouTube world, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I drop hot content like this and stay tuned for the next video.